Now with more on what this means for Obama, our Daniel Frischberg of Biz Radio and TheMoneyMan.com and Clint Greenleaf of Greenleaf Book Group in Austin, Texas. And obviously that was from our affiliate there, Clint. So let me ask you this, this Teamsters endorsement for Obama, Clint, is this a bad thing, do you think, for business or do you think that this is a good relationship? Yikes, I moved my business from Ohio down to Texas to avoid unions in general. So um, I'm going to say that this is definitely a bad thing for business. Um, unions in general, I think 100 years ago were great and they served a good purpose. Nowadays, I think they're antiquated and just don't do much for us at all. Daniel, uh, should business be wary of a Teamsters uh, Obama partnership or are the unions maybe not as powerful as they once were? Well, they're definitely not powerful in Texas, but they are powerful in Ohio. Hillary really needs to win Ohio. Also, uh, the ground game in Texas is important. They're going to help with phone calls and they're going to put a lot of money and support in. They're n the visible support isn't going to be that important in Texas. Uh, but Ohio, it's going to be very important. And if he beats her in Ohio, that may be the end of it. One of the things that, that both candidates, both uh, Senator Clinton and Senator Obama, have, have said is you know, that, that it's about free trade. It's about jobs going overseas. They want to stop that. They want to revisit North American free trade. Uh, Clint, do you think that that could be an issue that does take center stage as we go through the, uh, the next few months in the election? You know what, May? Um I guess my big concern is that globalization is not a fad. It's not going to go away. It's not like it just happens to be here for a little while. You're not going to be able to stop this engine of globalization. And no matter how much any presidential candidate tries to stop it, it's not going to be able to put the brakes on this at all. Daniel, do you agree with that? Uh, you know, it's uh, really all coming down to a question of initiative and competition or entitlement. And uh, picking up the unions, uh, Obama's getting backed into a corner where he's really going to have to be supporting uh, seniority and entitlement over, over initiative. He obviously has a lot of initiative himself, but he's getting put into a position where that's what the fight's going to be about when he's against McCain. So, Daniel, you think that this is dangerous for Senator Barack Obama as far as the unions go? He's going to be indebted to them if he does win in November. Wins the Democratic nomination, wins in November. Well, I think, it's imp I think it's dangerous for the country. There may very well be now in the United States enough people who are for entitlement uh, that he may win on that, but it's not going to do anything for the economy. That, that's really what the problem is. Uh, I don't know, 20 years ago we had an economy like that, and we've spread competition and lower taxes around the world. Every place that has adopted it is beating our stock market, beating us in business, and uh, another couple of years of going the other way, and uh, we may learn our lesson again and get another 30 years of pro-business policy. All right. Well, we shall see. Daniel Frischberg uh, here in New York, Clint Greenleaf in Austin, Texas. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it.